Hi everybody, it's Deanna with Tools of Energy Protection.com, your energy shift expert where I teach highly sensitive and empathic people how to live in the energies today. Thank you so much for joining me. I am so super excited to talk to you tonight about what's happening um, here at this time. <laughs> I've had so many people that have called and reached out to me saying, I can't sleep. I am having trouble sleeping. So how many highly sensitive or empathic people that are out there are also having that same trouble? Like you're not able to sleep for days or maybe you can't get to sleep for hours and maybe you haven't slept well for a week. And so I'm going to talk to you about that a little bit because that is part of what is happening in the power of believing in yourself. And you're like, okay, how do those two things fit together? Well, where we are in space and time, the electromagnetic frequencies are shifting on the planet. And as they shift, it shifts our bodies and our, and our energy bodies. So if you have not been able to sleep, I would like for you to ask yourself, the following questions. Question number one is, do I feel responsible for other people's feelings? Do you feel a deep need right now to help other people fix themselves? If you're having trouble sleeping, I'm going to ask you another question. Are people seeking you out to share their drama? Are you getting a lot more text or phone calls lately about people that are in pain, highly stressed out, and they just want to tell you what's going on in their lives? They just need somebody to listen, whereas normally they may not reach out to you as much. A lot of emotional dumping and drama going on that's bringing you down, and you feel like you're absorbing it like a sponge and you're just getting more and more depressed? All right, another question is, are you soaking up people's emotions like a sponge? So if you go out in public, do you feel like, you know, everybody you walk by, you're taking a little bit of their anxiety or their depression or whatever's going on for them? So if you've answered yes to any of the questions, do you feel responsible for other people's feelings? Are, you seek, are people seeking you out to share their emotions or their drama? And do you feel like you're soaking up other people's emotions like a sponge? What's happening? And how is that related to, please, let me sleep again? <laughs> well, what's happening is that you are a sensitive person or maybe even an empath and you've been asleep for a long time, you may not have known that you had these gifts or you had them and you've been pushing them down. And this is the awakening. You're being awakened to love yourself. You're worthy of that self-love. How do you do that? What's the secret? What's the key? Here it is. Draw boundaries with yourself and other people. Because when you draw boundaries with yourself, you're going to know when you've had enough of people sharing their drama and you're going to be able to say, hey, you know, I'm going to have to get back to you at another time. I'm sorry you're going through this and make the disconnect. That's knowing when you've had enough and you're not trying to take more on more than you can actually process. And that's also drawing a boundary with other people. Right? So, if you have been having trouble sleeping over the last week and especially the last couple of days, and you're answering yes to the questions of feeling responsible for other people's feelings, feeling like people are pouring more of their drama on you, or that you're soaking up the emotions like a sponge, then it's time to transform that. It's time to understand that you are being awakened to love yourself. And when you truly believe in yourself, 
and you realize how beautiful that you are and these beautiful gifts that are inside you, that's going to empower you. And you know deep down inside that there is something larger going on in this universe. And that's what's waking you up. God's spirit or source is calling you out of the darkness where you've been, where you've been trying to live. There's so many people in pain and in crisis on this planet. And if we're right there with them, believing that we have to absorb other people's pain, that we have to be the target for other people to dump all their stuff on, and that we feel responsible for helping them, then we're still in the darkness. So God's spirit of source is calling you and awakening you to rise up from that, draw some boundaries with yourself, draw some boundaries with other people so that you can be more of service as a pure, loving, light energy. And the reason you're not sleeping is because you have some of that energy still and you haven't purged it yet. Putting that energy outside of yourself, cleansing yourself will make it easier for you to sleep. Because that energy is coming around at night when the earth is being replenished with energy, especially about 3 a.m. And there's this huge surge and tidal wave of this loving energy. And if you can't surf it because you're too heavy, weighed down with drama, anxiety, fear, phobias, you're going to sink. And you're going to toss and turn. And you're not going to be able to sleep. So that is a great gauge of where you are and where you can be. So, here's what you can do if you're having those challenges. You can take a bath, use some Epsom salts, or if you're not able to bathe, maybe you have a shower stall only, you could put crystals in the shower stall and use the crystal energy to help raise your frequency. And you can also eat clean. I know it's not always easy to eat clean, but if you can, it will help to raise your vibrational frequency of the physical body. So, the power of believing in yourself is the power of love. It's a love frequency. It is the highest frequency that as a human being we can access also spiritually. And once you're in that love vibration, the most powerful frequency, the volume gets higher and higher. And it's to remind us of that precious love that's available to all of us. And why do you want to seek a higher vibration? Not only are you going to be able to sleep, but the higher vibration is the creative vibration. And it will help you to manifest all of your dreams. You know, there, there was a book that went around a while back called The Secret. I think it was also called a movie. And it told people how to obtain what they desire. Well, if that was everything you needed to know in that book or that movie, we'd all be rich. But we're not. And there's two reasons for that. One, there's a little secret that they left out. And two, there is your personal part in manifesting. You have to take action. And in order to take action, there has to be love of yourself. And fully embracing and loving yourself will allow you to free yourself from that energy that's currently weighing you down. The higher vibration will help you manifest everything. It will increase your health It'll shake up your life purpose and make that more obvious to you. And it will increase that spiritual awakening that you can flow through more easily and effortlessly and walk in a solid walk and not staggered. You know, a lot of people are having trouble with their balance lately. And a lot of that has to do with being asleep and not fully awakened and aware. So, again... The power of believing in yourself is what's being presented to you now. 
and this huge surge of beautiful energy coming around right about 3 a.m. in the morning, no matter where you are on the planet, you're 3 a.m. Just like the sun's starting to come up, there's a huge electromagnetism that's coming to rise everybody up. And the saying is, is that a rising tide lifts all boats, except for the boats that are tied down, that are anchored down. They're going to drown. So if you're that spiritually, highly sensitive, empathic person and you haven't been able to sleep, then I recommend that you take baths to help you. Put some Epsom salts in it. Use crystals. Better food choices. So that you can process what you need to process. So if you're feeling like, gosh, you know, I feel so responsible for everybody else's emotions, they're not yours. If you feel like people are seeking you out to dump all their drama on you, you don't have to listen to more than about 15 minutes. And if you feel like you're absorbing other people's energy, it's time to drop boundaries with yourself and others. So if you're stuck and you need some help and your battle cry is, please, I need to sleep again then reach out to me at toolsofenergyprotection.com. Click on appointments. And I have a special running called the Let Me Sleep Again special, and it's labeled that. <laughs> Click on that. We will get together at the time that you choose, and we're going to shift all these energies. We're going to pop out the depression. We're going to pop out the anxiety. We're going to pop out the overwhelm that you've been holding on to. And it's really this simple. Watch. It's a magnet. And you're magneting all these. You're magneting anxiety, phobias, depression, body aches and pains, not having enough. All these things you're magneting towards yourself because you're absorbing other people's energy, you're not drawing boundaries, and you're not allowing yourself to rise into the beautiful spiritual space that you belong as a beautifully gifted person. So thank you so much for coming. I really appreciate seeing each and every one of you. Big hugs and kisses toolsofenergyprotection.com the let me sleep again special and if you know anybody who's been tossing and turning and just can't seem to sleep and doesn't know why please click share at the bottom of the video so they can get some help too have a good night